Hey guys, welcome back to my next video. This time we're looking at something rather nice, to be honest. And it's a change from Thermalrite. It is a CPU cooler from Montec. It's called the Metal DT24 base. I have got this version and I've also got the premium version they've also got with the RGB. And what I've done is I've done a four tests with the Ryzen 5900X. So let's get directly into what it looks like, the overall, what comes in the box and so forth. Right then, so what actually comes in the box? Well, it's the cooler itself. You can probably see it by here already mounted into my test bench. And it does come with a very nice foam on the, in the bottom and does come with a lot of recyclable parts. Now, as for mounting, it does support a lot of different ones. Now, it supports uh, AM4, AM5, LJ1500, 1200, and 1700. So, yes, it does come with mounting. Yes, it does come with this, uh, this installation guide, which is nice and big. It's got all what you need in English and then it also tells you the overall cooler what it's like when it's overall installed and it yes this does come with thermal paste so what we'll do now is we'll get directly into the thermal benchmarks and we will see how this thing does against the 5900X so continue to watch <laughs> Right then, in terms of benchmarks, I run Cinebench, Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW, and 3D Mark CPU test. Now, with the 5900X, yes, PBO is enabled, so and everything's set to auto. I'm not going to go in a manually overclock to make the temperatures higher, because that isn't something a consumer would do. A consumer would just plug the, the CPU in, enable XMP or not, and then they will just keep going. There's no point... To do in that right so for cinebench r23 the idles were 33 celsius the max was a 64 celsius blender classroom the idle was a 34 celsius and the max was 63 blender bmw idles were 33 max was a 62 and 3d mark cpu test idles were 34 and the max was a 67 celsius right then so what does that mean well it it's managed to handle the 5900X. Yes, it's, it, it is a 105, 105 watt processor. This uh, CPU cooler is actually up to 270 watts TDP. So it could initially handle something much bigger. It could essentially go for the 5800X 3D. So from, I'm, obviously I haven't done any looking online or other people's reviews i've just had this in and i'm doing it the way i do it now in terms of mounting it's okay honestly i think they would have been much better off with going a bit more simpler but they do utilize the am4 backplate which not every brand does which is a very good thing because when you don't utilize it you have got that 50 chance of breaking something so that one is all right the overall quality uh the fans are very nice they're very premium i do like the overall metal around the shroud area of the fan it does look really tight really nice and tidy and as you can see in a system it's all blacked out uh the overall aesthetics look very pleasing it isn't overdone Obviously, that's where the premium version comes in, which has RGB on it. So that part, that's going to be coming next week. Overall, as you can see, it looks very nice. It isn't overdone. It isn't in your face gaudy. And it does fit in the Montex Sky 2 case, which obviously is going to. But overall, I really do like the design. The fans mainly, I really like the design. The fin, the overall uh, cooler itself, it's an, a basic dual tower. It's simple something similar to you get from thermal right or um cooler master but it's the fans the fans are very nice they look very nice quality 
and overall it's a very nice air cooler now i will be doing a roundup when it comes to the cpu coolers i've got here if you guys want to see a head-to-head -head, please leave me a comment in below down below because i can do thermal right i have got be quiet here um i've got and also a knock to a cooler i've got Selenium PC, I've also got the um, Raging Tech air cooler here, I can do a lot of comparisons, bits power, I can do a lot of comparison videos for you guys if you're looking at this particular CPU cooler in mind. So, overall I'd like to appreciate and give my thanks to Montech for sending these out, I really do like the overall design and overall a very good air cooler. So, if you guys like the video don't forget to subscribe make sure you like that button make sure you leave me a comment below i want to know what you guys want to see out of my my channel i'm doing a lot of head to heads lately but i have got things coming i've got the, the philips envia 34 inch ultra wide oak uh, q oled monitor that is here already that review will be coming very soon i've got some nvmes as well as other stuff coming so I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Goodbye.